here, Todd Houghton here from Houghton Physical Therapy for Facebook Live. Excited to be here for another week, episode 33. Can't even believe it. Been an awesome journey and a lot of fun spending every Monday night here with you guys for the past many months. So Facebook Live tonight, do you want to finish up 2018 strong? Do you want to meet all your goals and expectations in the last quarter? Be comfortable being uncomfortable is the path to success. In this video, you will learn the top seven ways, in my opinion, to crush any goal or desire that you want. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Who am I? I'm Todd Houghton here from Houghton Physical Therapy and here in Attleboro, Massachusetts, and excited to be here. I've been a physical therapist again for over 24 years, and I'm passionate about helping people. I'm passionate about connecting the mindset piece to the physical body, because I think that is really where all the magic happens. So when I was kind of thinking about what I wanted to talk about this week, there were a few things that came to mind that really helped me um, to dial in this, con this conversation for tonight. One of the employees um, uh, recently over the last few months that started, and this has been kind of the pattern, is that after a couple weeks, um, you know, I kind of bring them in and we kind of talk and see how they're doing. And they were, they've been really honest with me and they said, well, they feel, you know, they're feeling pretty uncomfortable because they're not getting as quick as they as quick as they should, and they really, really want to work hard to please and just be the best that they can be. And I said, that's exactly where we want you. If you're uncomfortable, you're going to make gains. Really, it's proportionate. The more uncomfortable you're willing to be, the more gains you're going to make. Another example, and this really sealed the deal. Yesterday, we were having one of our Power, um, our power Sunday meetings, and uh, one of the other clinicians was working on my shoulder. And he was talking about the pain. He was talking about trying to relax my body. There's some deep breathing techniques. And he, he wanted me to focus on to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. And my body just soon really relaxed right after that once I worked on the mindset piece. So get comfortable being uncomfortable. Um, and it's proportionate. The more uncomfortable you're willing to be, the more growth and the amazing gains you're going to make. Um, in order to be uncomfortable, as long as you want to set a goal of where you want to be, we need a couple things. We need a strong what. For example, plays for the Red Sox. I will do as a Red Sox player, I will do whatever it takes to win the World Series. My why could be, so my what and then my why, is I want to be the best in the world and I want to inspire young athletes and family and friends to be the best that they can be and that anything is possible. So what happened in the World Series when they were down four runs, I think it was in game four, they never gave up. They never gave up hope because what, they had a strong what and they had a strong why. They were really uncomfortable, I'm sure, but they didn't let it get to them. They pushed through it and look what happened. World champs, again, awesome. So how do you do that? Well, here are the seven steps that I'm gonna go over that I think are really, really helpful to learn how to be uncomfortable uh, to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Number one, really the toughest one, show up. Just start. The first step is always the hardest. All you have to do is show up and you've already, the battle is already half over. And we get it. I get it. It's uncomfortable starting something new. An example could be, I want to set a goal to walk 10,000 steps because I, but we have to have a strong why because I want to be able to, um, if I was older and I have grandkids, I want to be able to walk with my grandchildren because they like to go to the park. So now I have a strong what, get 10,000 steps, a strong why, because I want to hang with my kids or my grandkids or whatever your goal is, that when you start to feel tough, you're going to at least show up for that first day, keeping in mind what your goal is. Then another example could be starting a new exercise routine or restarting an exercise routine. It's going to be hard. You're going to wake up. You're going to feel tired. You're going to come up with all the other excuses in your head why something's not possible. Um, um, but again, that is the most difficult part because I don't know if you know this, our body, our human body is wired for survival. We want to be comfortable. We want to stay in bed on these cold days, on these rainy days. We want to stay in bed. Our, our, our brain tries to play some tricks on us. So, and you want to start it on your own terms, another one, when you start. You don't want to do it because somebody else told you because it's not going to stick. So start it on your own terms. And again, stay focused on your goal. What is your what and what is your why? Number two is you want to keep the daily consistent rituals or habits. 
I, I have a lot of rituals that I do every day because I want to get my day going in the right way and I want to have my focus and ready to go so I'm in the right mindset when I come here to the office and treat patients. So the good news is you've decided to start. And in order to get a habit or ritual, which is just something you're going to do consistent every day, it's like a muscle. It's like a new muscle. You want to get that muscle strong. How do you get a muscle strong? By being uncomfortable, by lifting weights, by pushing yourself. So again, keep a daily habit or ritual. You want to make the decision to do it. When you talk about decision, that means to cut off all other possibilities. I'm going to decide to get up out of bed no matter what the weather is, and I'm going to start walking because I need to get my 10,000 steps. What you're going to notice is your mental toughness, like a muscle, is going to continue to grow. And then these little the habits, the daily rituals are going to be automatic, and then you're ready to tackle something else. No excuses. Oh, my favorite thing is, oh, I tried to do that this weekend. Try. There's no such thing as try. You're doing or you're not doing. There's no try. So decide to do it. Sometimes from time to time we go a little bit dark and we're like, oh, I don't really want to get up. It's been kind of a long week. I'm tired at the end of the week. I, whatever excuses come up into our head to get us in survival mode. So then what do we need? We need to go back to our strong what and our strong why. Those two things. The third thing we want to work on is you want to visualize that your goal is accomplished. You want to visualize the end of result. We want to visualize getting the 10,000 steps every day so when I'm going to go be with my kids and my grandkids, I can run across the park or I can hang out with them for four to six hours like they like to do, and I've made it. So visualize yourself to keep yourself in the game. For example, I know a lot of those uh, Red Sox pitchers, were, uh, pitchers and players were picturing winning the World Series, picturing the last out, picturing the last home run, picturing the last um, score across the plate. Whatever it is, they picture it. It's a big thing with the mindset. Number four is you want to change your focus and you want to give a different meaning to enjoying the challenges. For example, changing our focus. Oh, I'm really comfortable in bed. It's 37 degrees. I know tomorrow it's going to be 37 degrees outside, but it's Tuesday. What do I, what does Todd do on Tuesday? I get up and I run. I meet my partner Shelly at the gym at quarter of five. We run out in the parking lot. We lift weights. I do my steam. I do the same thing every Tuesday. So it's my daily ritual. So even on those times, I could be thinking my legs are a little bit sore. But my goal is I know after my workout, I'm going to feel great. So I'm going to get up anyway. So I give it a different focus. My body is going to enjoy me helping it. My body is I'm going to be healthier every time I go to do a workout and give it a different meaning. So a different focus, this is good for me. A different meaning, it's only going to be beneficial for me. So I'm going to enjoy the uncomfortableness. Number five, big one. You gotta be around like-minded people. You have to be. You wanna be around people that also enjoy being uncomfortable. Because where are they going? They're going to the moon. If you're the smartest person in your peer group, time to add some new people to your peer group. You never wanna be the smartest person because then you have no one to look towards. So be around like-minded people that are positive, that are focused, that understand how to do rituals. Now you may not be the best, they might not be the best, but you can always learn from other people. It's easy to work out socially in groups too, or it's easier to do something together. That is really a piece that makes it a lot of fun. And just know that you're not alone. These thoughts are getting in your head about, I don't want to be uncomfortable. We aren't the first people to think this. It's been going on for thousands and thousands of years that people have the same thoughts. We just have to decide what we're going to do. Another thing about being around like-minded people is proximity is power. Be close to the people. If you, if you like what somebody does, whether it's in the financial world, you want to know some of the successful, you got to hang around them. You want to be more athletic, you got to hang around them. You want to be a better quilter, you got to hang around a quilting group. So be around people that you look up to is going to make this a lot better. It's going to, they understand the uncomfortableness. So to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Number six, really big one. You want to recognize your improvements and we've got to celebrate. Woo! You gotta celebrate. If you don't celebrate, it doesn't make you fulfilled and it doesn't make you wanna continue on. How can you recognize your improvements so you can celebrate? You wanna track your progress. Write down in a journal. Write down what you're doing. Write down how you're feeling. People track all sorts of metrics, which makes it really important and easy to celebrate your wins. Because sometimes, again, I don't always have a good day, but I pride myself and I get myself in the right state so I can have the best day possible. 
When you see the progress real time, it's natural to say, wow, I feel really good because sometimes we forget where we've been and actually where we are now. So really, really helpful. The last one, number seven, really, really tough one. Can you guess? Okay, number seven is wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat. Just go through the same sex. It, you're just gonna cycle through the same thing all again. So it's pretty simple when we break down these one by one, how do we become comfortable being uncomfortable? Because that's where all the gains are. If you look at anyone that you look up to, do you think that they've ever been uncomfortable? Right. Why do you think some of the basketball stars or why do you think some of the you know, football, whatever sport you play, why does someone shoot a thousand free throws a day? That's not comfortable. Their arms sore, their legs sore, they do the jump shots. Why? Because they want to be the best that they can be. So again, who's out there? Please let me know who's out there. Please feel free to tag somebody if you think that this was something that they or a friend of yours or a family member might like to hear. Maybe they need it in their life right now. So let me know who's out there. Give a thumbs up, hello, uh, any of the emojis. Uh, please feel free to shoot me an email at toddhhhoutonphysicaltherapy.com. Reach out to me on Facebook. I get back to everybody's comment. And again, thanks for joining Craig, Shelley, Nancy O'Brien. Long time no see. I'm so glad you came back tonight. Hopefully this was helpful. Again, learn how to be comfortable, being uncomfortable, no limitations. You can do anything you want to do. Thanks a lot. Have a great night. <laughs>